to try out a new mic setup. Here we go. Hey guys, it's Ryan. I just wanted to make a really quick video today to say thank you to the awesome little community that we have put together to make 600 subs. I was looking on my YouTube page earlier this afternoon and I just happened to see it and I just thought, wow, this is so cool. It was not too long ago that we hit 200 and now boom, here we are at 600. I'm not really caught up in numbers and getting all the followers and stuff like that, but I just, I genuinely, I wanted to say thank you. You guys are super awesome and you're super positive and you leave awesome comments on my videos and it's really encouraging. So I hope that we continue on this path that we're on of growth and positivity and just awesomeness. Uh, thank you guys, really, thank you. I wanted to share a cool story with you about when I was about 13 years old and it was the first time I was seeing a pro driver at the same track as me, Matt Francis. It was the first or second annual, I don't recall this specific detail, Team Losi Championship race. I've been, I went to all seven of them, actually small little side note within this story, it has nothing to do with the story. That gold trophy up there was from the... Uh, fourth annual uh, Team Losi Championship race. It's a first place for the stadium truck class, the stock class. And I have another gold trophy. You can't see it. It's out of frame over here. Same year, the buggy in the stock buggy class. Both of them first place TQ, the whole thing. Anyways, back to the story. Little 13 year old Ryan, super excited. All of the factory guys coming to the track and I got to race with them, see them, meet them, shake their hand, talk to them. I was like fanboying all day. It was just a really cool experience. At the race, they had a, the if you were ever at Minrig and you got to experience that awesome track, they had the track outside and a lot of people pitted outside, but then they also had the indoor situation where all the super cool factory guys pit together and they were, you know, buddy buddy and I wanted to go be with them, but I couldn't because I wasn't a factory guy. It's just a little scrub noob guy. Nobody knows, nobody cares about. So there I was. And they were kind enough at this event to, uh, they had this box and it was right next to where they were all pitting and it was for free tires. It was kind of like the tires that they were testing or they didn't like the way that they felt, but they had like one or two runs on them, whatever. They would put them in this box and then if you wanted them, you could try them. And they were just like, you know, free tires. So that was basically a gold mine to a 13 year old Ryan. I had no money, still needed tires. Here they are, free tires. So I was raiding that thing all the time. Practice, qualifying, anything. I was like getting everything that I possibly could. And then of course, every time I walked by, I got to glance over at all the factory guys, you know, and just look like a total creep, idiot kid. It was probably during the, it wasn't main day. It was the last round of qualifying. I went in there to raid the box for like the billionth time and <laughs> I think that they were all in on this before it happened because of the response that I got after it happened. So there I was, you know, little rodent vulture Ryan, just like going through the tires and I get hit in the back of the head with a, like a half empty Gatorade bottle because there was a garbage can right next to the box. It was like really close proximity. But as soon as it hit me, I turn around and literally <laughs> every single factory driver that was there was now dying in laughter at me. Poor little 13 year old Ryan. It was a horrifying experience that I thought for sure now that they were going to view me as that little garbage vulture boy that got hit by a water bottle that was thrown by none other than Matt Francis, like my favorite guy at the event. Threw garbage at me. It was great. So <laughs> that's my story. First time I got to see factory people, they threw garbage at my face. So it's pretty great. I, you know, I can laugh at it now, but I was completely horrified back then. So. I hope you guys enjoyed that story. Maybe I'll have more in the future when we pass milestones or something cool happens. And I just want to connect and share something fun with you guys, my awesome fans that have subscribed to this YouTube channel. So let's keep growing this thing. Let's keep commenting, sharing the positivity, and just keep racing RC cars and doing fun stuff with them. So until the next one, I'll see you guys then.